I never want to make this video. But it is true. I have officially sold everything I care about. It is creating with Lego. I have been forced to sell my entire collection of Lego to support my lifestyle. Everything around you, your house, your home, your family, has been taken from me. Really. A family member of mine abandoned us, my dad, myself, my dogs, my sister, around a year and a half ago. And since then, every day has been very difficult. And they ha are not, they have no remorse. They're continuing this destructive path. This message is to allow everyone to come together. That is what Lego building is about. Coming together as a family, as a group, as a friends, to create, not destroy. This person has destroyed and constantly destroyed until eventually there's nothing. This house I'm currently sitting in is gone. This is made by my father with his two hands. Many people do not have the opportunity to say that. He made it for the family. And this one individual left one day, never came back, never explained themselves. I'm not saying who they are, what family member they were, but they left and never came back. Ever since then, I've been working on 1313 for my sanity. The final episode of 1313 was legitimately my sanity. Putting everything I have into this and then YouTube blocking it, it just hit me differently. I know it's on another website, Vimeo, but that doesn't really matter. The work I put into it, I wanted the world to see. Now it's segregated to this one website. But that means nothing in the grand scope of my life, my reality. I've always been in this house my whole life. I was pretty much conceived in this house, in the other room, legitimately. This is everything I've ever known. And it's been ripped, legitimately ripped from me. How am I supposed to live with myself? I have nothing anymore. The Lego that I have now is only going towards feed. Everything that I have besides that, I have had to sell. The next video is Building Feed Episode 1. I placed all my Lego in the spare bedroom. Everything on that wall you see is gone. I had to sell it to make house payment on this house right now. But that didn't matter. It doesn't matter because it's being taken anyway. And it feels like I've given up my life to a cause that has only just gone nowhere. It's impossible now to build anything. It's been possible for me to learn as an individual. I've failed college, my classes, everything. It's, I cry all the time. And being open on YouTube is my only outlet now. People do not understand the situation I'm in. I've never told many people, only my close friends. And for me to finally let this message out to help everyone, if there's a family member or a friend that seems, I don't know, off a little, they just, you didn't do that before, what happened? Why are you doing that? Notice that. Maybe they're planning something behind your back. Maybe they're doing something conniving and scheming. You won't notice it now. But that's how they get you. They... Everything's fine. I love you. You're great. I would do anything for you. Just... Taken. Gone. 
how is that the correct response from that family member? I've been thinking long and hard these words I've currently said to this camera every day. It's not put the burden on someone else. Instead, admit my failures as an individual, but flourish the fact that I am able to admit these failures. I was watching a video about Tony Stark, you know, the Iron Man, whatever, but every time he has a failure, his armor is improved on some aspect of that show, you know, movie, whatever. But every time something bad happens, he improves himself. He works on himself. He tries to understand how do I defeat this individual at a more strategic way? How do I accomplish my dreams while others are trying to take it apart? But thank you for watching.